Okay, I'm installing this uh, Smart Core Ultra waterproof flooring, which I have found to be tricky to install in certain areas. So I'm going to share um, what I've learned from my frustration trying to install this stuff. They say anybody can do it, but I don't know. I've done a lot of stuff in my life, and this is one of the most frustrating things. So. Anyway, it works all right. It just, you know, it interlocks like like this. You stick it together, and it interlocks. So it's all well and good until you get into a spot like here where I've got to slide it underneath this heat register. Now, if I'm coming in this way, I can't get it to go in, and I, I got to get it underneath there. So what I've what I found is like videos online. They show you just tap it with this block. I have zero luck with that, and I'm pretty dang handy. Um, so right here, I've got a slide underneath this. What I've been using is paraffin wax, because once the stuff, you know, it goes together, and now I'm going backwards. This is the more difficult way, because I started in the living room and had to do this room last, so it's just the way we did it. So it, it slides easily until you get to about right there, and then boom, it locks up, and it's like a lot of friction. It doesn't want to... To move, so I get down here, and I can't get it to go underneath there. It just locks up, starts shifting the whole floor, and so I've been rubbing a little paraffin wax on that. And that seems to help a lot. Um, just got some paraffin wax at the hardware store. The more these joints go together, I rub it with that, and then I'll come in and I'll get it here, and then make sure there's no white. There's any white showing there? That's a problem. It's not fully together. You want to double check yourself too, because you can get this whole floor done, come back, and I found spots where there was like a little white crack where it didn't fully interlock. So double check like every few rows back. Go back and double check, make sure you don't have any loose spots. So you're going to tear that whole floor apart to get it fixed. So otherwise it's going to be shift and coming apart. So I'll, I'll bring it, keep it elevated like this so it slides easy. And I got to just flex this corner down right here right there, but keep this elevated as much as you can to get it to tuck underneath there. <laughs> See, it's bound up and it doesn't want to move. So slide it back and forth, get that paraffin work in to the joint. There, now I slide it down and I'm going to line it up with that. Now, when it actually locks in, it'll, it'll go to about right there. If it's still bound up and you got a little gap, it's going to want to be raised really high, but you'll feel it kind of shift. So I wiggle back and forth like that to get it to lock in. Okay, now, next strip. Now I do realize that there's, it's easier if you go start from that side and go this way, but I can't in my situation. So this is where it's difficult, that's why I'm doing this video. To maybe help you from having to call the suicide hotline when trying to install this pain in the neck flooring. So, Now this, you don't have to do this everywhere, but it helps in tight spots where you have to tuck it underneath the wall. So what I found that works best is right here, you're gonna, I'm gonna do the short end first. See this gap right here? I don't wanna tuck that in at all yet. So, but I wanna get it close and parallel. I'm gonna raise this up a little bit and slide, I'm gonna make sure I can slide this like that. And I'm gonna bring it over. Now, if it gets crooked, it's going to bind up, and this stuff is super, super, super tight, and it's super, it's a lot of friction, it doesn't want to slide together, or interlock, or tap. So now I've got it, no gap here. So I'm going to roll around like this, and you got to kind of push this down, lift it, get that thing to line up. It helps to wiggle it back and forth like this all the way down. Once it's in, you feel it kind of lay down a little bit, you know, if it's not quite in, it's going to go on a stick up like this. It's not going to go down all the way because it's super tight. There's like zero tolerance in this stuff. So that's how you lay it down. So anyway, uh, and then you just carry on with the next one. In like this. Make sure this is parallel, no gaps. You're parallel here. Set the short end first. I've tried sticking it in like this and tapping it. 
This stuff is so flimsy and brittle. I mean, you can just about breathe on that. It'll break. So it's just chintzy, brittle stuff. And I think it's fine once it's locked in, um, but it's just tricky to get it because there's just no, no room for any kind of variance. It doesn't like snap together and interlock. I haven't had any luck with that. So that's the best way I found to do it. Let's do the short end first. Slide it over, lift it up a little bit, and then work it back and forth. Just wiggle it all the way down. You gotta push this down a little bit right here. Get it to in the lock properly. And then double check. Double check your, your rows behind you. Make sure see there's a little bit of white gap there, so easy to then you'll feel it kind of settle in and rest. So hopefully that helps you, uh, saves you some frustration putting in the smart core for you.